All right, what's up, guys? So yesterday, the Clutch and Flywheel was supposed to show up for the BMW, but you or FedEx is a mess, so it didn't show up yesterday. Uh, tracking today says it's not any even in Florida yet. It says it's still in South Carolina, so I'm not even gonna like count those count those eggs. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not showing up today. So um, I'm gonna go over to Dylan's house and start messing with the other 240. Um, it's been a couple days, I didn't really get to mess with it because we went out to the compound and I've had a busy few days. But um, since the BMW stuff's not gonna be here today, I might as well go over there and start digging into it. I got the car from Mims. If you're not from Florida, you probably don't know, but Mims is like swamp, like, I don't know it's very hard to explain it's kind of like what you'd expect the hillbilly portion of florida to be if you're not from here i don't know the car's really dirty it's got bugs in it it's got mountain dew bottles it's got a tackle box in it with fishing stuff it's got a lot of random things in it so i'm gonna go over there and i'm gonna pull all that stuff out throw all the garbage in the garbage pull out the carpet i might bug bomb the car if i can find one here in the house and then uh just kind of start getting an idea of what needs to be done first and all that stuff. I definitely know that on the other car, I'm going to be cutting all this out, um, just getting rid of the tubs altogether, considering it's gonna be a drift missile, it's probably gonna have a pretty serious angle kit on there. And um, on the other car, the whole battery tray over there is rusted, so I might as well just plan on taking all that out. But the car does have a brand new black carpet in it, so I'm definitely gonna take that out and put it in this one, cause, uh, all this car pretty much needs is a carpet before I can complete the interior. So I'm going to get over there and I'm going to start working on that. But first I'm going to get some tools together and then I'll catch up with you guys once we're there. Alright, tools are all ready to go. Got three socket sets, got a couple spanner sets, got screwdrivers, pliers, should be everything I need. It's just a 240 after all, right? You could take the whole thing apart with a Phillips head and a 10 millimeter, so should have everything, right? All right, so we're over here messing with this uh, pile, and uh, yeah, it ain't too bad. It's just really dirty, like really, really, really dirty. I have to clean all this stuff out. Look, nail clippers, I don't even want to touch those. I don't know what kind of stuff is on there. But uh, yeah, I got a lot of cleaning to do. The good thing though is that there's a carpet, which I'm gonna go put in my hatch at home. I think, maybe, I don't know. We'll take a look at it. Um, this really sucked and made moving the car no fun at all, but I brought a bolt with me from my shaft, steering shaft, so uh, I can put that in there. What else is missing? Oh, he took the brake pedal and the clutch pedal. Okay, well, I have an extra clutch pedal. I know that much. Uh, I'm probably going to have to find a brake pedal. All right, so I just spent like 25 minutes wrestling with this because the person who I got it from ripped it out of the, uh, I think that's like a heat shield boot or something that's down there. Um, you guys can see it from the other side too. It's just this rubber boot that the steering shaft goes through and it wasn't in there So I had to like crack the uh, ew, had to crack the uh, o-ring and then stick it through there But it's in there now and I'm done struggling with that. So time to clean the car
All right, this thing was pretty gross. Look what I found. Pretty random, huh? Looks a lot better. Uh, probably just gonna have to do something about this carpet up here though, cause this is like, this is torn up right here. The whole carpet's like perfect, except for right here. But I still wanna pull this out and kinda like get an idea what's going on under it, just cause, I don't know, I feel like it'd be kinda stupid if I didn't at least see what's going on under here. It looks like there's some rust around where the seat mounts are. So I might have to check that out, see what we're working with here. Exactly. But that's pretty good progress so far. And take a little bit of a break got the whole thing vacuumed out so that's progress got the whole thing emptied out so that's progress here's what i was telling you guys about earlier this is torn to pieces right here so I'm probably just gonna cut this whole whole square out and just leave it open just uh drift life you know what i mean <laughs> well if you put on the max angle kit you know you're gonna need that space in there anyways either that or you tub it so might as well just leave it open and get more air so, I'll take a little bit, a little bit of a break. Catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, so got the whole car cleaned out, vacuumed out. I uh, killed as many of the termites and cockroaches as I could find. I'm going to run home and see if I can find a bug bomb real quick. Throw that in here, let that do its thing. And then once that's done, I'm gonna take out the dash and the side panels and the door panels and everything else. Uh, this was a mess. This car was really gross. All right, got the bug bomb here. This thing smells so bad. All right. She's looking like a, like a box, you know? Just a good old box. 240, you know? She'll be, she'll get there. She'll get there. All right, so we just got back from Josh's house. You guys saw that we bought, uh, bug bombed the car. Well, I bug bombed the car. Uh, I just want to let that sit there and kind of soak in and get that all taken care of. In the meantime, uh, I just came home. I'm going to take care of stuff around here. Um, tomorrow, we're going to be starting to work on the BMW. The clutch and flywheel kit should be here tomorrow. Kent told me that. So when that gets here, we're going to, of course, put it on the engine and then get the transmission mounted to the engine and then get the wire harness on the engine and then get the engine in the car. So I'm going to try to get done as much as I can tomorrow in regards to getting the engine into the car itself. I'd like to get the mounts sitting where they're supposed to. So the day after, I can try to get under the car and get the transmission brace up and then get the drive shaft on and do all that stuff and make sure I can basically tie up all the loose odds and ends. I want to try to get as much done as I can and try to get it running within the next couple days here. So we'll get you guys footage on that. But last Sunday, we went out to the compound. Take two. We blew a turbo line. Oh my god, there's got water everywhere. Who? Who did? Oh, I don't know.
have a turbo leak somewhere. Yeah, I'm only making five pounds. Is it doing good though? Other than oh that? yeah, it's shredding. It just well, won't go past five pounds. Alignment's kind of eh. The alignment's kind of eh, but it's only making five pounds. I put it in third on the sweeper, and then it's just bogged. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> Dude, that's how I'm feeling right now. pulled in from that and the uh, oil drain plug was falling out and all of our oil was gone so that must be literally the one bolt on the entire car we forgot to check but luckily there's like 50 people here and everybody threw in and gave us oil and now we're here so shout out Lee he got us all set up with the oil the rest of what we needed so we could run this without blowing any blowing anything up <laughs> well, he sent it with a boost leak. Boost leak's okay. But this thing's all tight now. Nothing else is backing off. We should get our extra two pounds. So, see what happens. Fuck, battery cable came off. We're good though. Uh, do you want to pull back through this? Real wet. Did anybody get soaked on the first one? Oh, no, no, no. I don't know. Think you'll make it? <laughs> I don't even know where I should drive out. Straight? If you're gonna try and go out, just hit it straight. Don't let out. I got an offer. Right on. 